Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and I'm here with another exciting news. I'm sure most of you have heard about the recent announcement made by OpenAI and OpenAI has just released its long rumored models and I think the wait is worth it because if you will look at the newly released models, you will realize that, oh, what is it doing? So now we have two new models. It is O1 and O1 Mini and OpenAI claims that these models can reason through complex tasks and solve much harder problem than the previous models were doing. So it is in the terms of uh, science, coding or even the mathematical problems. Let me quickly point you to that blog post where this announcement was made. So here this is from the OpenAI and here you can go through these details like where it is doing good, how it is doing good and these are the few case studies which you can definitely listen and you will get an insight about what people are thinking about it. So there are around few they have uploaded over here. So I will not play each of these but uh, let me quickly come to the point so the next important point here is although these announcements were made what all the areas uh, we can like focus on when we are using this model so these are the three examples they have given so the very first one is related to the math competition so if you will look at this particular chart gpt 40 was able to make close to 13 percent problems correct whereas o1 preview and this O1 were able to make like a high number of correct problems which is close to 83 and similarly if you will look at this particular code forces exam here also you can see that O1 is scoring at 89 and the last one which is related to science problems so here you can see that expert human can do uh, achieve like 69.7 whereas our new models are touching close to 78%. So now you can feel and realize that how well this particular model is doing in terms of physics, biology, or even the chemistry problems, like how any PhD level students could do. So these are the figures which are enough to convince somebody that we can use this model for reasoning and critical problem solving. But there is a catch. So, although this model is pretty good, but still you, the first catch here is this is a bit slow. So, you may face some latency issues as compared to the previous models because what OpenAI is claiming is that this model uh, takes time to respond to user prompt. It means that internally it is doing some validation, internally it is going through its own reasoning before giving response to the end user. So that is the one catch and the second one is it lacks few capabilities. So uh, there were few things which were done by GPT-40 uh, which is like web browsing, file upload and all those things. So I believe those are missing in these two new models. So do keep an eye before, start before starting with these two models. Okay, now the next question is who can use it or how can we use it? So if you are already having a GPT, chat gpt plus subscription then you will see this feature inside this drop down wherein you can select interface and the second thing is for azure users so if you are having an azure subscription then what you can do is you can go to azure ai studio go to model catalog and let me go back to this and here you will see these two newly added models over here so this is the preview one so right now you can see that nothing is shown on the right hand screen it means that we need to grab the access so if you are looking forward to use this model using azure ai studio then this is a link to request the access so if you will click on this particular link it will ask you to fill a short form so this is a small form which you need to fill and submit it and you will get the access and these are the capabilities which are discussed over here so definitely you can go and read all of these if you want so this is for zero uh, i mean 
O1 preview and similarly you have the one for mini so you can go ahead and experiment it so for me I have just requested the access so I cannot show you actually how it's going to work or what all things we can do but let's wait for a few days until I get access and I will definitely show you or walk you through a few of the problem areas which it can solve very nicely so I hope you enjoyed watching this and thanks for watching